today's video, I have an American Apparel haul and I actually have a huge pile of items to share with you guys today and I got this all for $68 and that's because American Apparel was having a warehouse sale this past weekend at their headquarters in downtown LA and I was able to score quite a few pieces and some of the craziest deals were, for example, these sheer tights were only a dollar a piece. Normally they'd be around $15, but yeah, for $1 you can't really beat that price. And I know normally if you spend around $60, $70 at American Apparel, you can only get a few pieces because I know the hoodies retail for about $40 each. But for example, I was able to score one of their hoodies for only $9.99, so that's a crazy deal. But anyways, let's just get into the haul and I'll go through the items one by one. So the first piece I got is this cropped white top, as you can see, and the reason why I got this is to actually go with this matching skirt set, so I'll show you the skirt. It's basically this bodycon skirt that goes past your knees, and it has a slit in the back. So this slit in the back actually makes it a lot better style because normally these bodycon skirts are just flush, there's no gap, and it doesn't really give you any movement. So I think this has really clean lines and the fabric is quite stretchy and more thick because obviously this is a white skirt so you don't want it too thin and see through or else you're going to have problems. And it kind of has like a Kim Kardashian vibe and I think it would be even more Kim K if it was in the nude color but they didn't have any more nude color sets as in this. So the next item I got is this dress and this is what here, let's show you here. So it kind of has like this scoop almost crew neck and it goes down into these pleats on the bottom so there's no gaps just these folded pleats it's 100 percent polyester so that would explain why it's so lightweight and i think since this dress is more of like a conservative style it is it should last for quite a few years so i think this dress is a pretty safe bet that it won't go out of style because this style has been around for so long so next i got this long black dress with a scoop neck and these small like one and a half inch straps and I'll show you just how long it is. It has this slit in the back as well. And I have this in a size extra small and it is quite tight, but in a way that's also good because it kind of like slims you down and holds everything in. Yeah, this one is 60% rayon, 35% nylon, 5% elastic. And strangely enough, it says do not wash, do not bleach, do not iron, dry clean only. So I don't think with that fabric composition I will need to dry clean this, but I'm sure a cold water wash will be just fine. And I also got this hoodie, which for all the years that I've known about American Apparel, and especially back in 2010 when it was becoming more of the thing, along with Tom's shoes and such, besides the point. But I never got the hoodie back then because I thought it was overpriced for what it is. And I do agree, yeah, the hoodies are soft and everything, but I didn't want to spend the money back then. So now is the perfect time for me to have bought their hoodie. So this one was actually only $9.99, so that's a crazy deal. And the reason why it was so cheap is because this is an XS small, so double XS. So it's a little bit, like the sleeves could be a little bit longer and there could be more stretch on the wrist portion. And yeah, actually for a hoodie, this has very little stretch, but I guess that's also could be a good thing because it won't outstretch or whatever. But yeah, that's what this hoodie looks like. And I do like the fact that it is double lined on the hood. So sometimes cheap hoodies aren't double lined here and it kind of has that soft fabric on the interior as well but I do like this is double lined. As I mentioned before this is in the size double XS but it's still manageable and the sleeves are quite tight and form fitting but not to the point where you feel like it's stuffed or whatever. So that's what this looks like. I also got a bunch of these tights and typically these tights retail for $15 but I was able to get them for a dollar a piece. So the first one is the sheer spiral tight. So it's basically this navy tight with some cobalt blue stripes down it. And I also have a pair of the nude color pantyhose. And this one is a nude color as well except it goes down to the knee and it has these little sheer polka dots on it. And I have had the American Apparel over the knee socks before and it does come with a sticky elastic portion to help hold them up. And I also got another pair of the sheer spiral tights but this time it's navy blue and kind of this beige stripe pattern. And lastly I got a light beige sheer pantyhose. I guess that's more for like once again formal occasions and these are definitely good staples to have in your wardrobe. 
for anyone that has dogs as well, their sale was crazy because all the dog clothes were only $3. So unfortunately, they only had extra large sizes as would be expected for that price. So I got one of these little brown zip up hoodies for my dog and he's around 17 pounds and this is a little bit big on him, but I think it may shrink in the wash and it is quite soft to be a dog hoodie actually. <laughs> and it has this little kangaroo pocket on the back, which this length is kind of a weird length in that it kind of goes down almost towards the tail. So it's not like it's a dress and it's not like it's a hoodie. So yeah, that length is a little bit odd, but yeah. That's what this looks like. And next I got this little pink shirt, which I originally thought was going to be like a cowl neck shirt or like turtleneck or whatever, but it strangely doesn't fit like that. It just kind of hangs down on the neckline. So I think the cut is a little bit off and could be one of the reasons why this didn't eventually sell. But for $3, you know, I wasn't going to pass it up. 